Hello. Hi, we're back. Chris and Lori show. Chris and Lori show. Yes. Wanted to talk today about so much that's happening in the world and five things that we can do right now that we think will make an impact. We've been having so many discussions and so much happening, so much chaos. We went from a pandemic to what's happening and George Floyd and all the stuff that's happening on the planet and the conversations, and social media and, and the riots. There's, there's a lot happening in the world right now. Absolutely. And we wanted to give you a few tips that we have been using that, that have really been, we think, supportive and things that you can do that are, you know, a lot of people are talking, but there's also action steps that we can take. And uh, we wanted to, I want to first, before we even go into what we can do, really a reminder that whenever you're communicating with people, to speak with kindness, listen, you know, treat people with dignity and respect. It, it seems to, with social media, become an easy place where people could throw that out the window. Right now, it's so challenging because people are so passionate about their view and yeah. what they believe in that it, it, it feels like you know, everyone's fighting for this one position instead of having a conversation that goes back and forth to see, you know, to be open to um, other possibilities and, and, and ways of thinking. I've been fascinated with what's been going on because it has opened up so much discussion, but it's also, in my experience, like shut down a lot of conversation too. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, it's it really want that to open up. Yes, it's here. And, and, and it'll, we're ready. Um, just there's a few steps that we can take. And I, you know, maybe these can help. These are a number of, of them you could do immediately. Because sometimes I know for us, what we've been experiencing is we'll find something on social media, something will come our way. And right away we have a response in our body. And then we get to be intentional about how we're going to absorb that or share it. Or, you know, because a lot of it can be, can feel, uh, um, aggressive or, or you know painful and, and we get to choose for ourselves of where we want to even receive the information right mm. and, not, and for me not to get defensive or um, just defensive to like listen to me yeah <laughs> you know let me talk yeah first thing that we've been practicing sometimes it's harder uh, to turn off the news turn off social media get, take a break at some points and love the people in your life love your Family, I think I saw a meme that said, turn off the news and love your neighbor. I love that one. Yeah. 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 Turn off your oh, news yeah. and love the people that you love and it's, love them. You know, oh my gosh, you know, we, we get online and do our, you know, content stuff and things will come by and it's, it's, it's hard to not click on them. Uh, and it's a choice. I get to stop, look, you know, I get to decide what I want to do and then, and then come from that place because it'll always be there later when I'm in a, maybe a different frame of mind or perhaps it'll pass and it doesn't even need to be something I need to read yeah. or know or watch if it's a video. Yeah. Second thing, you want to give them the second um, thing? The second thing, um, peaceful protests. So uh, you go peacefully protesting. Now that could be in person and there's been many of them and, and I was talking to um, my friend Kate yesterday about the, the about Boca and Boca Raton. What, happened with the police officers and how beautiful that was and yeah of course you can't necessarily choose which you know i would am i is this going to be peaceful for the most part you'll be you'll you'll know based on the content and what the protest is about or the direction it is um and and choose just choose wisely and and, and peacefully and allow your heart to break open for what does touch you, you yeah. know, let let it come forth from within and you know to create peace in the world yeah the second, second thing is, you know, uh, petitions. There's a lot, I know change.org, there's a lot of different petition places that we're, at the, we're very fortunate in the world we live in that by a click of a button, you could sign your name to something that you believe in. That, you know, uh, obviously some people might could debate the validity or how the impact that it has, but you know, we have that ability now to sign, for, sign petitions for things you believe in. There's a lot of them. We've, we've had the opportunity to do that uh, ourselves. So that'd be the second one. Yeah, I, uh, Sierra Club, for instance, it sends me notifications whenever there's, there's something mm -hmm. to sign. So whatever's really touching me, uh, it's there and I have a train. It's make, make it so simple. You just yeah. go through the whole process and there's a lot of them out there like that for each, each um, you know, um, political party even and and so in a peaceful loving way to be able to you know sign and, yeah. and, and there there is your your commitment yeah 
And then third, third thing? You want to give a third I thing? No, we're on the third. It's the, no, because you already said news, petitions, peaceful protests. Fourth! My wife's always, she's always <laughs> right. <laughs>